What's up everybody, Lulu Soul here and welcome to another Lulu Soul video. I am a digital artist who has been watching anime for over two decades now. I have a lot of thoughts about the anime that I watch and I'm here to share those thoughts with you guys. This is the second video in my anime review series. The first one was on Chainsaw Man. Today, we're going to be talking about the new Trigun Stampede and its predecessor, Trigun. Both of these are anime that are based off of a manga of the same name, and since we are going to be talking about both of them, expect a lot of spoiler warnings from the original anime and some low-key spoiler warnings for the first two episodes of Stampede. That's kind of unavoidable. What's also unavoidable is the fact that they are both from the same source material. <laughs> So to keep things from being too confusing, I will be referring to the original anime as just Trigun and the new anime, Trigun Stampede, as just Stampede. Now, for those of you who have no idea what Trigun is or haven't watched it or read it in a very long time, here's a little synopsis of both of the shows. The story of Trigun revolves around this dude named Vash the Stampede who has an enormous bounty on his head. It's not entirely clear how he got the bounty, but something went down and the bounty is huge. He goes from town to town in what appears to be a western style post-apocalyptic feeling world and he's followed around by two women from an insurance agency. For some reason, these women think that following the most dangerous man alive around and going, Pretty please have some donuts, will magically stop the carnage that happens around him, thus saving their jobs millions of double dollars. It doesn't. But following him around does allow them a first-hand view of all of the crazy shenanigans and adventures and just things that happen to this dude who, as far as we know, refuses to kill anyone in a world that is constantly trying to kill him. The first half of Trigun is fairly lighthearted. There's a lot of goofy scenes and sounds and a lot of witty catchphrases and just, just Vash getting out of really crazy situations in hilarious ways. But then, about midway through as the real plot begins to unfold, Trigun takes a slightly darker shift. Now, Stampede has more or less the same synopsis, but instead of being followed around by two insurance agency ladies, Vash is instead followed around by two journalists. And Stampede is darker conceptually from the very beginning. In fact, when episode one lands, you are hit right in the face with a major plot teaser that doesn't even happen until the tone shift in the original Trigun. I think the reason this happened is they really wanted to drive home that this, that Stampede is supposed to have a more serious, darker feel to it. Now, obviously, I'm taking the time today to talk about uh, the differences and the similarities between these two anime, and you might be wondering why, why do I care so much? I'm a fangirl. Vash the Stampede has been one of my heroes for over two decades now. It was one of the first anime that I ever watched knowing what anime was. And as such, it was arguably the first anime that I actively sought out on my own. I was dealing with a lot when I figured out what Trigun was. My life was a little bit of a chaos as most teenagers and preteens experience. And Vash's adventures in Trigun was my escape from that. He was my hero. He was the big brother that I wanted. And I kind of wanted to, okay, I wanted to be Millie. Let's be fair, Millie is just... Anyway, 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 anyway. Back on track, Lulu. Back on track. It was... It, it has always been a favorite anime. It has been an anime that teaches a lot of things that, that I looked up to and I've held very strongly in my heart throughout my entire life since then. So when Trigun Stampede was announced, or at least when I found out about it, I took the chance to go back and re-watch the original Trigun to see if it was really as good as I remembered or if it was just, you know, nostalgia. Fun fact, it does. It stands the test of time. It is just as good. Trigun was a work of art in its own right, and honestly, it doesn't need an episode-by-episode -episode replay to exist with new animation, so... I was a little concerned for Stampede. And that's why I think it's important to note here that Stampede and Trigun are not the same anime. Stampede wasn't intended to be a remake of Trigun so much as a new retelling of the manga itself. And I think the team behind Stampede is really leaning into that and playing around with what could have been. I am, I am going into Stampede after watching the first two episodes with the mindset of this is a what 
if story. What if these characters were slightly different? What if Vash handled this situation in a completely different manner? And since Trigun changed a lot between the original anime and the manga, I think it's wonderful that we're seeing another what if situation for Vash and his story. And I've talked a little bit about how in episode one, we start right off the bat with that tone shift. And it kind of really hammers home, at least for me, that it's not meant to be the same show. But episode two shows us that Stampede does plan to at least loosely bring in key beats of the original story. For example, in episode two of Stampede, we are reintroduced to the Nebraska family. We get to see their new looks and I'm very excited about those. I think their new, I think the new versions of Nebraska Dad and Nebraska Son are absolutely amazing and I, I love them. I love how they were handled. I love their introduction. It's great. And honestly, this episode starts out a lot like the original anime's counterpart, which is Hard Puncher. Vash is in a diner. Suddenly, the entire diner is trying to arrest him for his bounty. He runs. Then the entire town is trying to arrest him for his bounty. He runs again. The Nebraskas attack the town. Vash then returns and saves the same people who were trying to capture him like five minutes before. But there, there you go. Those are the similarities. You're welcome. Everything else in the episode, it plays out in a vastly different manner. And honestly, I think only Stampede could have accomplished this due to its animation style. But before we go into that, a little fun fact. The Nebraska Family's introduction episode, which was Hard Puncher, it was the very first Trigun episode I ever saw, which might be why I'm as excited about the Nebraskas as I am. And I used to think it was the first episode of Trigun the anime. It's actually episode five, but it is chapter one of the manga. So having it being chapter one of the manga, chapter five of the original anime, even though I thought that was episode one, and then it actually being episode two of Stampede, is kind of cool and it, it feels like a silly little inside joke between my child self and my adult self. Okay, that little easter egg over. Uh, the animation. So how are the an how is the animation different? Trigun was made using cell animation and it was done in a time where I don't know if it was the animation budgets or if animation was just still getting getting its footing in the world, but you are not going to see an entire episode from start to finish completely animated. What Trigun specifically chose to do then was to work within the realms of those limitations and use a combination of the cell animation with stills, shots, and music and combined the, the work of art that was this anime. Each scene feels intentional and we get a lot of really big moments that almost feel like the perfect pause in a storybook. And since not everything is animated, we have a lot of lines from the supporting cast kind of giving us exposition um, as if almost as if from a play. So they tell us a lot of what is going on when those things can't be animated. And there were a lot of key components in the original Trigun that I, I really don't think could have worked any other way. They, they wouldn't have hit the same way. And so Stampede is attempting to hit differently using CGI. They're not trying to reproduce the original vibe any more than the story is. Instead, they are also working with their own limitations and pulling out all of the stops. Like, for example, every once in a while, a character is going to move in a way that feels weird, almost like I'm watching a robot than an, uh, what is supposed to be a human. But, but that's more than made up for during the moments when the CGI animation style shines. Especially in episode two, when the Nebraska brothers are shooting at Vash and this man uses some major mad dance moves to dodge the bullets that are coming at his face. Meanwhile, the animators are giving us the subtle changes and shifts in his facial expressions. Now, instead of all of the cast around us telling us that Vash is a coward who hates fighting, you actually see the fear and concern in each action that Vash makes when he's dodging, it's it's working and it's amazing, but he looks scared. He looks like someone who is very much does not want to be in this situation. Whereas our more carefree, friendly Vash from all the way back in original Trigun is more likely to, I don't know, 
break a bottle of ketchup on himself and then laugh and and almost like he's having fun with the gunfights, whereas this Vash does not. He is not having fun. He does not want to be part of any of this violence. That may change in future episodes, but from we've gotten in episodes one and two, that's what's going on, right? And in this, I wanted to take the chance to talk about some of the character differences between Trigun and Stampede. If you've seen or read Trigun, if you are a fan of it, you probably know the first thing I want to talk about here. Chances are high that you already know what I'm about to say, and you either know it and agree with me, or you know it and you have a reason why you don't agree with me, but, but, where's Millie? Where's Millie? She's been replaced by this guy with his, with his stupid face and his stupid experience and his stupid drinking and smoking and, and, and look, he might have the same color palette as Millie, but he's just not Millie. I know some people feel that it's because of the new direction that they want to take Marilyn. She's younger, more innocent somehow, if that's possible. And instead of running around with big dog alpha energy, she's inexperienced and youthful. So why not pair her up with an old seasoned reporter guy that drinks and smokes? There's no way Millie could have reprised her role. Not without overshadowing what they want to do with Meryl, right? And I totally did not at all, not even once, not even a little bit think about recreating a scene from episode one as if Millie were still in our lives. Nope. Mm -mm. Not at all. Didn't do that. Honestly, I'm sure this dude is fine. His name is Robert Roberto De Niro, uh, which I would love way more if he weren't replacing Millie. He may even grow on me, but it's going to be a really hard sell, primarily because he has replaced my favorite character. <sighs> As for Meryl, she's a lot younger now, and she's a journalist. Even though her other half is missing, I like this version of her. She is still single-minded and intent on doing her job, but now her drive makes way more sense. Like, I want to get the story. I want to make my name for myself in journalism. That makes way more sense than I work for an insurance agency. Look, I believe it way more of her as a journalist, and I think it fits her personality very well. I also think that even though they have chosen to make her younger, I can easily believe this This is the same Meryl. She's just, she's just younger. I can easily see her growing in to the adult that we saw in Trigun. Hey, and maybe, hey, hey, maybe that's the whole point. Maybe at some point, Meryl gets her footing as a journalist and, and she gets assigned a new partner. One with the same color palette as her old partner, but female and way cooler and more adorable and stronger. No, I'm not going to let go of this. <laughs> but you know who didn't change? Vash. I've already talked about it a little bit, but if you've only seen the first half of Trigun, Vash from Stampede, he seems different because he's not, he's, he's more serious than Stampede. But if you've seen the second half of Trigun, his personality, it's still fairly on point. While yes, he isn't as goofy right out the gate, but he still has that lovable airhead quality to him. It shows up a lot in episode, honestly, episode one and a little bit in episode two with how he re interacts with the people around him, how he's very not, he's not as obnoxious anymore, but he's still a little bit playful. He's still very sweet. He still obviously has a soft spot for children. He's not as perverted, which is kind of cool. And he still has that lovable airhead quality to him, even if his inner sadness is still a little bit more in his sleeve than it was before. But the, the key components of Ash are still there. He's a pacifist. He can move like nobody's business. And he gets out of a lot of crazy situations without directly shooting anyone. And this makes him come off as a coward when in reality, he's just very, very kind. Now there's someone else that I haven't talked about yet, and that's because they haven't shown up yet. But that's Wolfwood and his lollipop? So like with Meryl, they seem to be going for a much younger version of Wolfwood. He isn't as scruffy anymore, and he's not smoking. He's eating a lollipop. Now mind you, we only have the trailer to go by so far, but at first, I thought that they got rid of his iconic cigarettes because they wanted to do a shift into more modern times, because like, you know, it, smoking, it's not as viewed as something cool people do so much anymore. And having a character that we like smoke and drink might be more likely to turn away modern audiences. But then Roberto comes in and he both smokes and drinks. 
So honestly, I'm not sure. Maybe it's specifically Wolfwood that they want a softer expression for. I don't know. I'm curious, but I want to know. As of this Saturday, episode three comes out, maybe we get to see more Wolfwood in that. I am hoping that he does show up in the next episode as it feels like a good place to introduce his character, but if we do end up getting an episode that takes the time for Vash Merrill and not Millie to interact with each other more and develop as a cast a little bit better, that's going to be fine too. I think Stampede is going to use this first season to bring in beats from the original source material, but I also think that they're going to wrap all of that up within season one. In season two, I hope that we get to see more of how Knives and Vash interact after their iconic battle scene at the end of the original anime. I've never seen what happens next. I don't think there is anything on what happens next, and it's always been one of the very few complaints that I have had about the Trigun anime. Because, like, he has this whole driving force, Vash does. Because uh, Rem is like, you know, take care of knives, Vash! And he holds that very close to his heart, and he, he, it torments him how he's going to take care of knives. And did that mean he has to kill knives or have to take care of him? And at the end of the original anime, he just kind of knocks him out, ties him up, throws him over his shoulder, and goes back to town. And I don't really get to see how that accomplished anything. He didn't really make a choice. Um, or he did, but we never got to see how that choice played out. So I'm hoping that in this situation we do get to see how it plays out and that might be a driving point for season two. However, when we see Rem in episode one, which is part of the big, you know, woo, uh, she doesn't say the iconic phrase. She doesn't tell Vash to take care of knives. And that makes me curious. So is in this version, is Vash going to have to kill knives? That's not what I want to happen, not at all, but it, it's a possibility. Um, but since we are going into, you know, predictions and what we hope will happen, look, look, even if, even if I don't get my Millie in the season, in the series, at least get, give me a single scene of Wolfwood at the end of the anime, going home to his wife, who is Millie, and they're living together and they are surrounded by kids. If any couple deserves the whole Brady Bunch white picket fence treatment, it's these guys. And I, I, no, I am not going to get over Millie being absent. And no, I will not give up hope that she inevitably returns, even if it's in a non-speaking role. But speaking of returns, while I might be devastated over Millie, if you hadn't noticed, I am super excited about something else. Naturally, as a kid, I watched Trigun in English, so the English version has had the most impact on me. Vash's current sub-actor is doing a magnificent job. The original voice actor for Vash the Stampede also did a magnificent job. But to me, Vash the Stampede was his English voice actor, and I am very excited to find out that Johnny Young Bash... Va blah, blah. That Johnny Young Vash, that Johnny Young Bosch is in fact returning as Vash the Stampede in the English version. Yes! We don't know anybody else that is going to be in the dub. And either, I don't know what that means. It probably just means that, that they were like, guys, you gotta calm down and stop asking for this. Look, here, we return to you your cinnamon roll. And I appreciate that. And yeah. I'm gonna be watching every episode now, both in its original Japanese and then again in the dub. Why do you ask? All in all, look, I'm here for I'm here for Stampede. I'm excited about it. I loved the first two episodes. I I can't wait to see what happens from here. And it's wonderful to see something from my childhood and come back to take the lead into a new generation of anime fans. Like I still don't think the original needed a remake. I think it was perfect as it was perfect as it is, but I also understand that it may not hit the same way for today's audiences. Maybe Stampede will, though. This has been my complete and total opinion on Trigun Stampede, based off of the first two episodes. What do you think, though? Do you agree with my thoughts? Do you disagree? Has anyone who watched it actually not found the show appealing? Let me know in the comments. Just keep things respectful while you do. 
After all, this is just an opinion piece and everyone is entitled to have one. Have a wonderful week. This has been Lulu Soul, signing off. Okay, thanks, bye.